Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V! Today, there's one more monster that I want to try and recruit here, the Draki. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm having Abel defend here, because I don't want his boomerang to wipe out the Drakis before I kill the other guy. Like I said, I'm not sure, but I think the monster you kill last is the one that you'll end up recruiting, if at all. So, let's not take any chances. I thought I'd seen, like, a battle or two where I've killed, like, the second to the last enemy and recruited that one, but, well, I don't want to take any chances. All right, there we go. We got the Draki. Yes. The Draki's a little weak, but it has some pretty useful stuff that it gets later on. First things first, uh, we want to equip the old boomerang on Abel and give the edge to boomerang to Vlad, the Draki that I have there. And let's see, for armor, let's see, where is it? I thought I had a uh, hardwood headwear somewhere. Ah, there we go. Yeah, let's give that to Draki there. Yeah, unfortunately, he is very weak at level one there. And I should have a scale shield left over. Let's give that to Draki there too. So, all right, there we go. And we're going to find some armor for the Draki later on. So, there's the stats. Doesn't have anything yet, but, uh, well, I'll go over why I've chosen these monsters soon enough. Soon enough. Not right now. Oh, the shops aren't open? Oops. Okay, well, we might as well rest up here. I'm out of MP, so how much is it? Oh, wait a minute. Um, you know, I want to talk to uh, this lady first. I don't know if you have to talk to her first, but... Oh! Nuts. I wonder where she went. I guess we're never going to see her again. Two nights or more, huh? Well, I need to only stay one night here, but, uh... Maybe I can convince my party to stay here an extra night. Why not? Oh, what's going on? We're not trying to save the world. Why are we insomniacs? Yeah, apparently so. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. So yeah, this is how you trigger being able to get past the guard to the east. You have to come over here, rest at the end, then go over there. Yeah, it's a real bastard move. It got me the first time I was playing the game. It was like, how am I supposed to progress with the plot? You have to go here and... Unfortunately, there's really no indication that you're supposed to do that, but... Oh, well, hey, if that's the worst thing that this game does, I think we're doing pretty good here. But... Oh, yeah, what happened to him? Oh. Yeah, he always seemed to be sick when we were around. Nuts. Oh, well. Oh, there's another uh, lady down there. Well, let's see what's going on with current events. Uh, yeah, there's nothing over here. Okay, let's get out of here. So now we got a little dwarf running the place. That's great. Let's go. Oh. Nuts. Well, we seem to be doing fine so far. Yeah, well, not that it's any of our business. But, uh, yeah, let's rest up here one more time so we can get that extra item. It's not critical, but it would be nice. And what prize do we get for staying here two nights? I did. Grape scented pillows? Seems like an odd combination there, but anyway, for staying here two nights, we get the Zizwiz pillow, uh, a knickknack that actually can be used as an item in battle to put enemies to sleep. So, all right, yeah. Again, it's just mostly just a collector's item. Nothing I'm really worried about. But... Oh, really? Huh? Maybe we ought to ask around. <laughs> Yeah, we better go to the bar to get some action. 
Uh, no. Last time I tried getting a drink, it didn't work out for us so well. Oh, okay. What is this, this legendary hero, anyway? Sure, why not? Oh, yeah, that was the last game. Yeah, what happened? Oh, oh. Hmm. I thought he just wanted to stay home, but, uh... Oh, um, yeah, apparently not. Hmm. Gee, I wonder who his descendant could possibly be. And here we get mini metal number two. All right. But we can't get that treasure in the room to the right yet. There's, well, the door is locked. So, oh well. Okay, we're not going to be able to do that for quite some time. So, oh well. Let's see what else is going on with Coburg around here. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's... We gotta put him on the right path, then. Apparently so. That's... Okay, well, anyway, uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to come here is to buy an iron shield. Now, they sell it here, and this is one of the few places early in the second generation that you can actually get it. So, uh, get that for him, and we should be in pretty good shape. It also, um... Just double-checking the stuff there. Yeah, we want to give the Seed of Wisdom to, uh, the Apple there, because his Wisdom stat's pretty low. Vlad is doing okay there. So, alright. Now that we've got some monster party members, let's go explore the Wheelbrook at it and see what's going on here. See, Dad apparently left something behind in there. Well, let's go take a look around. Why not? Yeah, going in there with just Abel and Harry at very low levels, this place can be a little difficult. But now that we've got a couple more monsters, more than zero, we, uh, well, we... Should stand a better chance in here. So let's go take a look around. Thanks for keeping the raft intact for us. After all these years. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I'm dying here. Now I know what you're thinking here is H.C. Bailey. Why are you using monsters, relatively weak monsters like Rotten Apple and a Drake? Well, first things first. Uh, we got a couple new enemies, Metal Slimes and Owl there. Metal Slimes give a ton of experience, but they run away a lot. So, Owl Bears, nothing too special about them. So, they just hit a little hard. You pretty much want Drackey to defend, uh, as long as you've got him at low levels. Get him a couple levels before you start to actually, like, attack him and stuff. Anyway, back to the monsters. Rotten Apple is really good in the second generation because he has really high agility, really high resilience, and pretty good attack power and a decent equipment draw. So, uh, Andy's very common to recruit. Uh, Drackey is also very common to recruit. But he uh, is more useful because he can equip boomerangs and he can learn some debuffing spells, crowd control, like Dazzle and Snooze. And we got the Iron Quiris. We want to give that to Harry's to finally upgrade his armor. That's why I didn't buy anything for him there. So yeah, Drackey and Rotten Apple are, are pretty nice, actually. There are better monsters, but they're a lot harder to recruit. That is one problem with the game, is that a lot of the really good monsters in the game have a really, really low recruitment rate, so... To make things easier on you, if you're following along with me, viewers, I'm only going to be recruiting the most common monsters. Not this guy, no. No, only the useful of the most common monsters. So, if you want to use more rare monsters, or you feel like farming for hours on end to get one, hey, go knock yourself out. 
me personally, I'm going to take it easy on that. Stick with the common ones there. Let's see. Okay, we're almost at the end here. It's a relatively short cave. And here we got another new enemy, Wordle. These guys have a really high defense, so we want to use Cussap on them. There we go. That should make them more, well, easier to defeat. I haven't seen these guys since, uh, Dragon Warrior 3. I don't think they were in the last game. Uh, I could be wrong. Oh, come on, Metal Slimes. As you can see, I've gained quite a few levels for my monsters there, because I, I kill, actually killed uh, Metal Slime off-screen, but it took me so long that, uh, well, I felt like editing out the battle. So, don't want to uh, drag on any longer than I have to. So. Alright, we made it. <laughs> Let's see, did he leave a note behind in the bookshelf? Alright, here we get the Leather Kill. Finally, some armor that I can give to my Draki there. Uh, let's see. There we go. So yeah, once you get Vlad over, like, 30 HP, then you can start having him attack. I'd give Vlad the Ordinary Boomerang and leave the, uh, Edged Boomerang to Abel, but Vlad can't equip the regular Boomerang, but he can equip the Edged one, which is rather odd, but oh well. Oh. Well, apparently so. Yeah, we kind of heard about that. Oh, really? Nuts. Well, right after giving birth to me? Gee. I wonder who the legendary hero could possibly be. Let me think. Oh, if only you knew, Pankras, if only you knew. Ah, I'll do the best I can. What's with that shiny sword there? Hmm. Apparently so. Hmm, I wonder how he knew. Hmm. But anyway, oh, that was a deep. Alright, now we get the ultimate sword in the game, the Zenithian Sword! Not f six hours into the game. Huh? Oh, well, that's weird. Why can't I equip it? I'm the main character! I'm supposed to be the legendary hero! Well, we gotta reforge it or something, or uh, get a power-up or, or something like that. What's going on back at Coburg? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest V! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!